Looks like we have got ourselves a spy. Possibly a G.I. Joe. What is your business out here? I have no business here. I'm just passing through. Lies! You wish to test my patience? Fine. Kill her. You guys really are the worst guards. You have all your focus on me. When you should be more aware of your surroundings. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Son of a bitch! You are a Joe! Cobra! Come in, Cobra! This is all- Hell of a shot, Snowjob. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Just try your best to stay out of enemy sights. Snowjob, out. What is happening fellow hunters? Mike the Hunter here with another awesome unboxing of this sweet G.I. Joe we got here. Snow job! So I was at work the other day and received an email from Hasbro Pulse saying that they finally shipped out my snow job. I have been waiting for snow job to come out for quite some time, man. Today, as I was pulling up to the house from work, I see that sweet FedEx truck outside dropping the package off. It's about damn time. So I thought, dude, I got to throw the camera on. I got to open this guy up, add him to the shelf. Dude, these GI Joes are spitting out like freaking hotcakes, man. I can't keep up. Hey, every time I acquire a new Joe, Hasbro is like, ah, oh, we just released these four other Joes, man. Check it out. Dude, I can't even keep up with what is out now, what is going to come next month, what is going to come the month after that. Hasbro's just jerking all these Joes off on us. Just, yeah, take it, take it. All the rich guys are like, oh, yeah, give me more. And guys like me who are just trying to pay the bills are just like, oh, no, stop, hold on, slow down. Kind of miss the days where Marvel Legends would come out and, you know, people would get the chance to get them. They do their hunts, they do their videos, they do the reviews, they add them to the collection, they enjoy them in their collection. And then we wait for the next wave to be released. But am I complaining a little bit? Yeah, sure. But if I had to choose which way uh, it would be, uh, honestly, I, I would choose to just keep on having Joes come at us. It keeps the excitement up and it just keeps me knowing that the wave is going strong, the, the, the figure line is going strong, and there's an entire world that I still need to, to collect. Like, I just have that to look forward to. I just hope myself has a chance to catch up with everything coming out. Dude, my wallet right now looks like Rocky after he got his ass beat by Apollo. But enough with that anxiety. Let's just chill. Let's be happy that we received a snow job. And let's unbox this son of a bitch. So here we have snow job, which uh, a lot of us collectors are very excited to get photography of. Uh, those of us who get snow. Um, we want to take this guy out to the snow, we want to bring out our camera, get some sweet pictures, upload them on Instagram, share them with our buddies, and really just play with the accessories that he comes with. He comes with a juicy amount of accessories. These bearded Joes just look better and better each time they come out. I think no one's beard tops Stuart Outback's beard. Outback's beard was sculpted so perfectly. I'm not talking about young Outback. Old Outback with the gray. Top detailed G.I. Joe classified figure I've ever seen. So I hope we continue to get more like Outback, which uh, this guy seems to be looking like. I, I, I don't know though, I have to pop him out of the package and see if he actually looks like the image on the box here. So before we do that, let's get you a close look at the box before I pop it open here. I got Snow Job and the sniper rifle going down the hill with a tank right behind him. And a polar bear up on the mountain, which is sweet. You guys know how we do it here. Um, each time I do open a G.I. Joe, uh, I try to throw them in some sort of scenery, some, some action figure photography, just to get the vibe going for the figure. So we'll do that after the unboxing. So uh, what is your guys' opinion, man? I want to know your guys' opinion on uh, Hasbro's rate of releases on these Joes. Like, do you think it's crazy? Are you satisfied? Are you happy with the way things are? And let me know your top favorite G.I. Joe that you have to this day um, that just tops your entire collection. Pull out the actual figure here. Okay, whoa, all right. I am impressed. He looks good. A very good head sculpt, face sculpt, paint job on the beard, on the eyes, eyebrows, everything. I am very happy that that came out good. Wow, man. Is this Outback worthy? 
I would say so. I'm gonna place him right here as I get his accessories out. I wanna see this cool crate that we got from this wave. It is a gray crate. Snow job. Number 67 of the wave. It's that shitty little paper everyone throws away when they unbox these things. So starting off, we have this awesome snow job head, which again is very well sculpted. A little ick right there on uh, this side of his lip. As you can see, it's, I don't know, it's like his skin tone kind of bleeding out into the beard. That kind of bugs me. Um, I think it's something that could be fixed with uh, just the right amount of color matching with this paint. And just, you know, topping it off a little bit with some paint right there in the corner. But I really do love the detail in his hair. Uh, you could see like a little bit of brown wash, like a dark wash over the red hair. So that's awesome. I love that detail that they have in there. I love the hairstyle in general. Like it's like a nice wavy long hair going over the ears. Very nice, man. We have this awesome backpack. Uh, again, you know, with these backpacks, I always say this, uh, the brown accessories could always use some black wash to really bring out the detail. Here we have these bottom pieces that connect to his feet. I don't know what you call those. What would you call those, like snow cleats? I don't know what they're called, but they're very well detailed. They're very cool. These are like the uh, the picks that help you get through the snow. A nice sidearm. That's a pretty big pistol, dude. I don't know what kind of pistol that is specifically, but it's long. Here we have this awesome neck piece for when you want his hood to go down. So very good, very well detailed with the uh, the fur there. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a detailed sniper. I love the brown that is colored over the black. Loving that detail, Hasbro. Personally, I am not a fan of the magazines coming out of the guns. A lot of people may like that, but for irresponsible idiots like me, I tend to lose them very easily when I have them posed on the shelf and they decide to drop and the magazine just goes flying. Now a way to fix that, uh, maybe to put some putty in there, that'll help keep the magazine, maybe just a very light amount of putty. Uh, but still, man, if that magazine pops out of the gun and you have a carpet, uh, wood floor, whatever, and that magazine goes flying, you're screwed. You're searching for that magazine for days, man. Tiny snow goggles. Wow, man, let me see what they look like on his face. Oh, yeah. That is snow job right there, dude. We got to take very good care of these goggles. Because if I lose these, I've lost all the character to snow job. All right, so we've seen the accessories. Let's pop out the figure. Whoa. Quick look at the box art. Really appreciate these. I hate how they look so amazing because I want to keep the box. And I have no space to store these pieces of cardboard, man. But it looks really good. Thank you for that, Hasbro. Very good detail. Look at that. Crispy. Fresh. All white snow job. Let's get you decked out, my friend. I'm seriously loving the detail on this guy. Like, everything that he comes with, when you pair it all together, it just really brings out the character. It looks so good with the sniper rifle. Um, I'm honestly debating if I should keep the hood on or take it off, but I'm liking it so far with the hood look. Uh, the backpack, as you can see, is equipped with the uh, the picks here. What, what do you call those? I'm gonna I'm just gonna call them picks. All right. And then uh, the skis, I imagine, go right here on the side pockets. What the fuck? What the fuck? What what just dropped? What just? What I tell you? What did I tell you? Freaking magazine popped right out of his gun. What did I do? I just held it in the air. I'm just going to put that down for a second, okay? Slide this other ski on the other side. Okay, so with uh, the skis here, there's this is so cool. These straps on the backpack, they pop out. So if you want to go ahead and pop the skis in and put them all the way in, you could do that by unbuckling the strap, sliding it in, and buckling it back in. So that's very cool, very useful. I thought you had to just squeeze these things in there, so you don't have to do that. One ick that I do have about it is the backpack tends to be a little heavy uh, pulling the figure back. So if you do have the backpack on with all the accessories plugged in, you gotta have them on a good, stable surface. 
and you have to have him posed in a very stable way too. Would prefer to pose him without the skis because I'm gonna have a hard time finding space on my shelf to <laughs> have him skiing. So uh, I think I'm gonna have everything posed up like this so that you could see the skis, see everything he comes with, and really just put the focus on him standing with his, uh, with his sniper rifle. Bravo, Hasbro. This guy looks sick, dude. I so happy I got my hands on him. I was just messing with his head right here, and I didn't even notice that his, dude, he has a neck pivot to where, like, you want to have him look up, he could look really far up. You want to look down, he could look really far down. Like, that separated neck articulation is key to having those good poses where you want your character looking up, sideways, all around. Very sick, man. Um, one thing I want to try is if he can go into a prone position and have his head looking upwards as if he's an actual sniper. So let's test that out. So the neck articulation does work very well. I do wish the ball point uh, that the head connects to had articulation to where the neck could go back even further. Unfortunately, that's not the case on this one, but he still does look far enough to have that downward look on the sniper as if he's on top of a mountain. So very, very cool, loving it. So behind the scenes of this shot, zoom out a bit. I have the 4K TV in the back, very large TV. Um, I pulled up a YouTube video of 4K shots of snow landscapes, sort of like a montage. And there's tons of backgrounds I could choose from, so I just hit pause, uh, pause it right on the right spot, and then just uh, mess with the figure a little bit. So what I have him on is literally just a bunch of junk. You'd be surprised what works as a perfect diorama setup. Literally some baby towels that we had thrown around that are white. Um, literally just toss it on the box. Got some other objects. I got a little box here I laid down, put another towel, um, another container right here, laid another towel on that. And just sort of just giving that build of like snow mountains. And then for lighting, I have my ring light right here um, set to a low setting because I don't want it to overpower the brightness of the TV. Now what kind of bothers me, and I'm sure you guys notice it too, is you see the ring light reflection in the TV. That's something I'm working on. Obviously I'd have to bring the light further away from the TV, but it's hard because uh, it takes away the lighting from my figure as opposed to it being close up like that. So that's something I'm working on fixing. Maybe just getting a, a brighter ring light and setting it up in a further distance. This is kind of like a cheaper one. And then I also have this lamp just sort of opened with the shade off, just giving it that extra light on this other side. And then, yeah, man, just putting them in a sick pose and then zooming it just right enough to where, just to where you see snow, you see him, you see mountains. And yeah, that's like a perfect little shot. You want to just, you just want to get a basic shot of him in the snow. There you have it. There's snow job. And I try to match the left side of the light with the sunset, the way it's coming through the mountains. So that way it makes sense that the light's hitting him more on this side rather than the right. So there you have it. Snow job in the snow. Okay guys, so to end off the video here, I went ahead and posed snow job on the GI Joe display shelf. And he looks awesome, man. Really happy, really, really happy with this figure. We got Timber right in front of him, right with Snake Eyes as well. Got his alternative head at the bottom so I do not lose it. Um, and yeah, man, uh, let me tell you, if you plan on wearing those goggles with that headpiece, it is a pain in the ass because the goggles fit very loose around that head um, as opposed to the one with the hair because the hair you know, creates a more wider um, fit for the goggles. So. That one was a little bit of a pain to even out the goggles to make sure they're straight on his face. But I dig that look for uh, you know a display on the shelf because he's all hooded up, he's all cozy, he's got his goggles, like that's the whole kit right there. So very, very pleased with this figure. Very, very well worth the money with the accessories he comes with. And uh, yeah, just the amount of fun that you can have with this figure, uh, putting him in the actual live snow. Uh, when the winter comes, so that's going to be a, a fun thing to do when, uh, you know, I feel like making a little short clip with Snow Job. I can actually use him in real snow. 
natural lighting and everything. That'll be sweet. But yeah, man, the Joe shelf is coming along. Joes are spitting out like crazy to this day. I'm gonna admire my snow job some more. And uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys on the next one. With that being said, I hope you enjoy your figs. I hope you enjoy your families. And as always, good hunting. Peace!